I think of individuation in three big stages, and th- and these are huge stages. Mm-hmm. There there's processes within these uh, e- each of these stages. So shadow work, uh, and like uh, Deb was saying, there's a there's a lot of techniques or or several techniques that we can uh, uh, apply to that work, but it is the entry point, and it is at the the ability to transcend our personal experience mm-hmm. so that we're not locked into our cultural training, mm-hmm. you know, what we've undergone it from the time we were born up to adulthood. It kind of encapsulates us in, in this little bubble of this is your conditioning and this is who you are. If you don't do the shadow work, you're, you're locked in there. You're always seeing the world through that lens of what did I learn when I was a kid. That filter of limitation and identity. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with it, but, but that's not where we're meant to stay. That's mm-hmm. all. It's not the end point of and our life journey. Don't you think it's why we have this, like they call it the midlife crisis, why we have yeah. this like point in our midlife where we do feel this calling for something else? It's like a natural... And so the the beginning of life, it's it, conditioning isn't bad because we need it to babies basically function in the world, and then we get to undo it, and it's all part of the beautiful plan. So the second stage then is more finding your spiritual power. Mm. You know, you can call Jung called it the the animus anima, integrating those archetypes which really are coming from the collective unconscious. So here at the second stage of individuation, you're past your personal ego mind. Mm. You're working at much deeper levels with the creative unconscious mind. It's giving you symbols, visions, power that is coming from a deeper source. Then the third stage is really that integration of the self, the true self. and you The know, true self is very deep. It's not about the personality. It's, it's Yeah, you, what in the East, uh, we can think of what they call enlightenment, mm-hmm. right? It, it's reaching that deeper state of what is consciousness? What is this awareness that is in me? And realizing that, Oh, it's a source of everything. Mm. But those are, let's say, deeper states or, or more advanced states of being that uh, individuation is leading us mm. in that direction. 